Yo, what is going on guys? Prevised here. If you enjoy, please drop a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. But in this tutorial, what I'm going to be teaching you is how to make a rainbow trail for your game, but I'm going to explain it. Um, so thanks to ASAP Taylor, a new video is going to be coming out today. Now, I won't be able to make YouTube, vid YouTube videos on the weekdays anymore. Um, because I gotta focus on school, so that's gonna be a problem. So I'm bringing one today because I don't have school because of the weather down here. So on YouTube, there are tutorials on how to make a rainbow tra trail for follow you in, in game. I can make the trail, but I don't get the scripting part of it. Can you please try and figure it out and make a video on how to do it, please? Yeah, sure. So that's this video. So, let's get started with a... I'm going to try to explain the best I can. So, <coughs> you could either do this in a local script, it, it would still work in a local script, or you could do it in a server script. But what we're going to do is, in a server script, we could use the functions, The there's events called player added and character added. So, it makes sense because whenever the character is added, we want the code, you know, to fire. And so you could do it in a local script, but best off doing it in a server script. Um, so it runs on, on the server. So first off, in server script service, right click, insert object script. Let's name this trail. Okay. So. First off, I'm going to zoom in. First off, let's make a player added function. So what this function is going to do is whenever the player is added to the game, it's going to fire anything inside that function. So to do this, we're going to do game.players.playerAdded connect function. So this is the whole function. So I'm going to try to explain this. So game basically holds all of this just how workspace holds all of this all of this is inside something called game so game instead of sometimes you see game that workspace but instead of game that workspace you see game that player so it's going to go inside of players now this service called players has an event called player added so whenever you join a game your player object is going to get stored inside of players so there's an event called player added, which whenever a player is added inside of this player service, it's going to fire this function. So if we say print A, whoops, I don't want to comment that out. If we say print A, every time a player joins, it's going to print A, basically. So that's all for the newbies out there. Now inside these parentheses is the parameter. So if we say player, um, basically the parameter is going to be the player like whatever player joins like this could be the text could be any anything in here so if we said print uh, print dwa it's going to print the player's name this is the oh well actually no 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 if we do dwa dot name then it's going to print the player's name dwa as of now is the player the player's object it's always going to be the player's object, whatever's in here. So, and this is just going to print the player's name. Whatever player joins, it's going to print that player's name. But it makes more sense to actually just put in player, not DWA. So we can do print player dot name. Okay. Character added. So, what we're trying to do, if you think about it, what we're trying to do is whenever a player joins, or Whenever the character joins, I know a lot of you guys probably say player, but it's actually the player's character. Then we're going to add a trail to the character. So to get the player's character, we're going to do player. So we have the player's object right here, player dot character added. Character added. Not wait, connect function. Okay. So, player is the player's object, 
and then we do the character added is an even so this even's going to fire well let's say yeah the even's gonna fire whenever the player's character is loaded in so the difference between a player and a character is the players are stored in players service and the character store are stored in workspace uh, so the character holds like all your bricks like the Lego bricks to your Roblox character yeah okay so and then the parameter for this is character which is the actual character object same here you could do print character dot name it's gonna print the same thing as saying player dot name because I mean they're both the same name okay so now what we're gonna do is actually make the trail so what you could do is server storage is always good for storing things because an exploiter exploiter can't access anything in here so you can do insert object and trail trial trail yeah I always want to say trial I don't know why now you could customize your own trail in here um, or we can make the trail in the script and then edit the properties and everything in there so how about we do it in a script so I could teach you some things um, on how to change you know so you could learn more on how to do this so okay so for this we're going to change the color and maybe a few more things so in our script let's do we're gonna make a new trail local trail I think it's supposed to write trail yeah equals instance dot new now instance dot new is gonna make a new object and then the object's name is a trail as you can see it's called a trail and all these are other objects these are the name of the objects now we need to parent this uh, so we're going to parent it into, let's do the character's humanoid root part. So we're going to do character, as you can see we have the, got the character right here. Character dot humanoid root part. Now, oops, we don't want to say torso because R15 uh, rigs don't have torsos, but they do have humanoid root parts, just like the, R, the R6. Um, yeah, it's so character dot humanoid root part. Um, what we're going to do, since if if this runs well, this should work. We'll test it. Okay. Now, since we parent it, okay. Now we need to let's see trail. Okay, as you can see inside a trail, there's an attach attachment zero and attachment one. So there's two attachments for the bottom of the the bottom of the trail and the top of the trail. So attachment zero is the top, I believe. So yeah, let's mess with that. So trail dot attachment zero. So this is gonna be the top of the trail. Equals so we want to take the trail's attachment, uh, the top attachment. And we want to put it, you know, around our, our neck or our head. So let's press play and let's see what attachments we have on our character in our character. Fire dusk. Okay, it's very laggy. Of a slow computer. Okay. So if we go in our head, let's see. We have look, we have a neck attachment right here can't see so oh wait this is not an attachment this is a motor 60 I'm sorry um, these are attachments hat attachment hair attachment as you can see yeah there's okay so these are attachments so neck rig attachment this is the attach we're gonna use this attachment so you can copy this name stop it so as you can see, the attachment was located inside of our character's head. So we're gonna do character dot head dot neck rig attachment. 
I believe that's right. We'll go back um, and fix any pro errors if we have any later. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Now, atta attachment one is going to be for the bottom. So, <coughs> let's see what other attachments we have in our character. So, we want our trail to end about, you know, around our waist. So, we're going to find lower torso. So about right there is where we can have it end. About right there. So root rig attachment. So we're gonna copy that name. Go back in our script. Character dot. Uh, this was located in our lower torso, I think. Yeah, I think so. Let's see. As you can see, it works. So yeah, it works, it works. Now, we're still not finished because I still want to teach you guys how we could make it uh, different colors and all. So, alrighty guys, so let's change the colors of it. So, wait, did I really paste the name in? Okay, whatever. We're gonna delete that, we don't need that. That was just to actually Yeah, let's just keep it just as a reference. So we're going to change the color. Um let's change the color. Okay. So if you want to change the color, here's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to take a part change it maybe to a blue like this copy the color the color and I'm trying to see I never really messed with too much with the trails so it's a color sequence okay huh. Okay, so it's a color sequence, so you can't really copy the colors, so this, I'm going to show how you can go around this. So, say you wanted to, in the script, say you wanted to change uh, your texture length, for example, you would do trail.texture length equals, and then since it's a number value, as, if it's at a 1, you could change it to zero. So that's basically how you can change the texture length. So what I'm going to do is since I see you can't change the color like in a script because it's a color sequence, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, this actual object, instead of making a new one in the script, we're gonna use this object already. So what I want you, you all to do is you can take you you work on your trail you you know you mess with the colors mess with all the properties and then i'll show you um, what we do after so once you do the, all that we're going to rename this to trail trail and then we go back in our script and as you can see we made a new one we don't want this so we're actually going to find the object so find this object outside of all this we do local <coughs> excuse me local um, trail equals I'm gonna go in server storage game dot server store server storage and we're going to wait for child and then the object name is trail so that's what we put here then as you can see, trail.attachment0, and yeah, we are good. Okay, so we're going to hit play. I hope I'm making this uh, make sense. Let's see if we have any errors. So, 
I noticed what I did, what I forgot to do. We need to parent this trail. So trail dot parent equals character dot human minoid root part. My mic is falling. And as you can see, there we are. And of course, you could change the rest of the properties. So ASAP, I hope I hope I explained this good. I hope you understand, and I hope for all of you to understand. Usually, people don't un explain like I do. Uh, well, YouTubers like other scripting scripters, YouTubers, whatever. Yeah. So, yep, yep, yep. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe. Later.